guys, welcome back. Now in the previous tutorial, we created a connected app and we retrieved the consumer secret and our client ID. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use that to authenticate ourselves from Postman. So the request that we're going to do is I'm going to create a brand new request. It is going to be of the type post. And then the next thing is I'm going to copy this URL. So this is the URL that you have to make the request to. It is services OAuth and slash token. And uh, you're going to replace with your client ID, client secret here, your username, your password, and with your security token. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this over here. And I'm going to replace all that information. So grant type is equals to password. This is static. So this won't change. Client ID. Let me go ahead and copy the client ID. So if I go back to my connected app here under the app manager you can see here this is your connected app click on view and here you're going to get your client id so if you scroll down you can see here this is your consumer key this is your consumer secret so copy this consumer key over here and then you're going to paste it over in this area so remove whatever is written and then replace it with your id and then secret will go over here so if i do click to relieve copy this value and then replace it with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and replace. Now it's asking you for your username. So what's my username? I'm going to, I got an email yesterday. So this is my username, Deepika Integration Tutorial at mytutorialrack.com. This is my username. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste it over here. And then it's asking me for my password along with the security token. So my password was password one, two, three. And then where is my security token? I would recommend you guys to check out your email because we did this step yesterday as well uh, when we created the account. So just go ahead and copy your security token and we will go ahead and paste it next to the password. Now this is the complete call that we will be making. So go ahead and uh, go back to your postman and enter that over here. The moment you enter, this comes out as a parameters. This is your client ID. This is your client secret, your username and your password. Now let's go ahead and make this call. Hit the send button. Now you can see here, this is what the response came back. And in the response, this is the instance URL. It came up with the access token. So in order to make any new calls now, we don't have to keep authenticating ourselves. We will just use this access token in the header. And then this is the instance URL and uh, this is the token type is bearer. So you have to use the bearer token type along with the access token in the header when we're making further calls. So let's go ahead and save this and we will call this as rest OAuth authentication. And then we'll save it inside of here and into this collection and that's it. So now we have authenticated ourselves. We retrieved our access token. Now in the next tutorial, we are all good to make any rest calls from our postman. So how do we do that? We will talk about it in the next tutorial. Thank you.